Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll see how we can configure um, Postgres SQL and MySQL into SQL Developer. So basically, SQL Developer come with the inbuilt um, functionality for uh, Oracle connection and all. But if you want another database like SQL, uh, MySQL or uh, Postgres SQL, we can do uh, the same thing where what we can do with the Oracle. So let's first of all download the SQL Developer. So SQL Developer download. And you go to this uh, site, there's an Oracle site, and I'll just go with this uh, the first one because I'm using the Windows. You can use as per your operating system, so Windows 64 with DDK 11 included. So I'll just download it. So this may take a little while, okay? So once it is downloaded, just uh, uh, go to the folder and here is folder i'll just uh, extract here you can extract anywhere your work folder so I'll just for the showing demo i'm extracting the same folder once it is done just uh, uh, get into this folder and click on sqldeveloper.exe So when, once it is open, you have uh, connections. So here we can see that only Oracle connection is there. But what if we want Postgres or MySQL? So what you need to do is uh, simply first of all, you need to download a uh, Postgres and MySQL JDBC jar. So let's download it. So I'll go to the Google and uh, download Postgres jdbc type so download pg jdbc or here also you can go download and you can go with this version and ojar has been almost download right and i also downloaded the mysql connector you can download it from internet so just uh, first of all let's um, try with uh, mysql and i just copy this location and what i will do is just go to the tool preference and in the database expand the database and here you can see third party jdbc driver click on add entry and post this uh, paste this uh, uh, url and uh, just select this jar file and OK. And now let us uh, click on the new database connection. And if we can see, see here Oracle and MySQL is there. So now let us see MySQL connection. And here uh, I'll choose this, uh, uh, I'll copy this IP address where our uh, database are stored. So just uh, so this is the VM where where my mysql as well as the postgresql are installed and if you want to see i can show through um, this is my ssh and we'll just exit and if i see docker ps then you can see postgres and mysql both are over here and one is on a 543 to port number another is a 3306 these are the my postgres and mysql default port number so i'll copy this ip address as a host name and i'll just go over here and put it host name i'll give the username and password All right and let's test it And the port number I have to change actually. The MySQL port is 3306. Okay. And now let's test. And here I choose MySQL. Again, let's test this. I was previously I was trying on Oracle, so could not get in route one two three. And choose the database. And I'll choose this users db. Test it and get it successes connection is there 
okay so i'll just simply say show databases and should work fine and i have created a table called select star from users so this is our table but first of all we have to use users db And select star from users and our table rows are there right now uh, if you can see the connection is still showing only two databases Oracle and MySQL now I want uh, PostgreSQL to be here so what I will do is I'll just go again in the tools and in the preference and just go to the download folder and here we have postgres jar so i'll just copy this url and add an entry put it download and we have to add this entry download desktop home i just go this day so developer and just remove this part in this SQL developer again let's go to this uh, preference third party add entry and and click in the download postgres SQL I remove this entry now click on ok and if I try a new connection over here and then I'll just you can see the Postgres SQL is there now. I say Postgres um, or products DB, and again um, user Postgres and password Postgres at the time of uh, creating the Postgres uh, SQL on the Docker. And I'll just copy this IP address. And choose the database and we have a products db test it the connection is success i click on connect and i simply say select start from products which is already been there when i tried to create the postgres server so all right so all the five servers are there so this is a one way uh, you know all the one stop where we have oracle mysql and postgres all we can connect over here in the same page so you don't need to you know download if you are comfortable pretty much if you have used the sql server developer previously for oracle and if you do not want to you know uh, go with another uh, client editor sql client editor then probably this is a good idea i'm i love this um, SQL developer so I use for most of my database I use the same SQL so otherwise for the MySQL you can use the MySQL workbench or for PostgreSQL you can use the PG admin uh, UI to go for it alright so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video